All right, everyone, what is going on? Pretty excited today because we managed to find Wave 2 Danger Packs, and this is the Zwanhosaurus. Uh, if you want to check out Piatnitskisaurus and Tupandactylus, which are also part of Wave 2, not the Saurus, part of Wave 1, so you don't really need to get that again. That's all right, we already have that. But um, yeah, stay tuned for the video on this one and this one. Uh, that will be coming up hopefully today and tomorrow, unless some really important news comes up and I have to make a video. But for now, we're focusing on Zwanhosaurus. Uh, and yeah, we're going to get this bad boy opened. We have the scan code. We're going to check it out in the app a little later on in the video. But for now, you can see I've got all of my uh, mountain creatures. So we're all going to compare them because these are all the mountain creatures released so far, I believe, which is really awesome to have them all actually uh, obviously more are coming but this is all that has been released to the world now because we haven't got like wave two this is our only wave two that's released so far but yeah here's the empty box if you're wanting it i don't know uh maybe you want this code if you're looking for it so this one right here so there you go hopefully i helped you out there but oh these five actually look really good together. All the colors, you know, they work perfectly together, especially like these tiny ones, all the browns and stuff. Stegosaurus as well, so that's really awesome. Uh, but yeah, basically these are both the Danger Pack uh, mountain biome creatures, which is super cool to have. And honestly, Zoanhosaurus, I believe, is the favorite people have decided on out of, uh, you know, the wave two danger packs is what i'm trying to say uh and then the second one is like two pandactylus and last is pietnitsky saurus so i reckon they'll be the order of the videos to come out this one's first because it's the favorite then as i just said you heard me hopefully but um yeah look how cool this like it is actually really awesome it's a feathered carnivore like eo my bad my bad like eo carcaria um except I, I just think the paint scheme on this guy is extremely incredible. Like, uh, it reminds me of something. I'm not too sure what. Maybe a dinosaur I have actually seen before. I don't know. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's based on a real animal. The paint scheme. Oh, I did not see that. I think that's an error. And there are multiple Zoanhosauruses as well. I was actually checking. Um, they had. Uh, this was actually the best one. Because it was fully painted black, whereas like some were a bit of a weird spray and it seemed partially white. You can kind of see, yeah, like the back is a bit white on the crest kind of thingy. But um, obviously I wasn't smart enough to look on the bottom. Uh, but yeah, they were plentiful of each of them in multiple Kmart's I went to, except for two Pandaculus. I only found one of that, so I was very glad. And it was the first Kmart I went to, so that was pretty awesome. But uh. Yeah, no, these are the only two mountain carnivores for now. There will obviously be more, like the Orcaraptor that is up and coming, and, you know, whatever else chooses to come out, I guess. So... Pretty happy I have this one, because just look how awesome it is. But I reckon I'm going to start cutting back on my Mattel purchases from now, because they're cool, but, um... Uh, you know, there's a Jurassic Park Day anniversary and stuff. I've got the money to buy them, but I want to save that money for, like, my future and stuff because I'm only young. But whatever. Uh, we do have the scan code, so we're about four minutes into the video. Let's uh, show it off. Hopefully you're all still watching, and hopefully that works. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, there we go. That's the perfect quality, isn't it? Hopefully that works for you guys. Um, I'll try different lighting as well, just because uh, last time I checked, my scan codes weren't working properly. Uh, so I'm just trying to, because I have a light on my um, thinger, which, there we go. And we have one more light, I believe. There it is. And then back to normal. So, that that's was that pretty cool i think that was pretty cool oh actually it looks more clear back here so i'll just you know spin through the lights again uh, i don't know yeah whatever anyway what i want to do now is now that we can scan in i want to check it out 
in the app because we can actually do that now so yeah let's move on over to the app so yeah here we are just loading up the dino trackers app right now hopefully it doesn't take too long to load up but you know once we get in gonna be very awesome and all that so yeah it has updated to wave 2 stuff you know Jurassic Park 30th anniversary and oh Zoanhosaurus is actually the dinosaur of the week how interesting is that but uh yeah you can kind of scroll around the map they've got the JP30 creatures now instead of the wave 1 uh no I don't want to track Dilophosaurus just yet I want to go to Zoanhosaurus actually and check out that uh bad boy bad girl I don't know whichever gender it chooses to be I guess but yeah no, oh, that is super awesome. It appears as if I've unlocked it, but I actually haven't. It's just Dinosaur of the Week, so that's why. It'll disappear after a week if I don't scan it in now. So let's do that. And this is actually on my new phone. That's why I don't have a bunch of dinosaurs all scanned in and stuff. I do actually have all of them on my other phone, actually. But, you know, this is a high-quality phone. We want to use that. And we'll check if it has a second animation, which it does. Oh, okay. And it appears... Oh, it loves jumping around. That's what it loves to do. Okay, then. So yeah, it just roaring off into the sky there, pretty cool. And here is like all the facts lived in Asia, you know, about the weight of a pig, uh, almost the height of a human there. That's an interesting stance. I quite like it though. Reminds me of uh, Morris Intrepidus. But yeah, I think what we do now is we'll track it, right? And here we go on to the mission. So, oh, it's actually in a desert. That is an awful environment for the Zuan who's supposed to be in, right? Like, imagine if you've got a fur coat on you or a feathered coat, the desert is the last place you want to be, right? You go from a freezing place to the hottest place on earth. So, yeah, you wouldn't want to be Zuan who's supposed That's why we're saving you, buddy. We're on our way. Don't worry, because that's what heroes do. Am I right? Am I right? But, um, is that it up there? Yes, it is. So, we are about to grab our final dinosaur footprint and then yeah we are going to grab it now there you go super easy they haven't made much of a challenge but then again like you know i don't think they're going to make it the hardest thing in the world it's just a fun little game to play on top of already owning the dinosaur as a toy if you did decide to buy it unless you're just using the scan codes from wherever you find them but we just fed twice in a row there very interesting and now we're going to click oh i didn't mean to do that I was cleaning it too much that I exited the app almost. But here we go. Uh, just a clean up of your wounds and you are all healed. And I'm ready to send you back to the mountain biome, if that is correct. But uh, yeah, no, this is about it of the video. We have succeeded. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Will you buy this toy? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.